I am Assistant Professor Alnig of Jamie and Bate Kasakop of the College of Information Technology and Computer Studies of the Pamatasan ng Lungsod ng Montinlupa, or in translated in English, University of the City of Montinlupa. Let me now share my screen to start with my presentation. All right, so this study is entitled Analysis of the Impact of Seamless Blended Digital Learning or SBDL program of the Pamantasan de Lungso de Montinlupa in the Philippines. Now to give you a brief background of um, our conduct of seamless blended digital learning, okay, we all know that in the onset of the um, COVID-19 pandemic, all of the educational institutions worldwide um, have been closed Okay, to uh, basically limit the transmission of the, um, of the virus. So uh, our university was not spared from that. So way back in March of 2019, uh, 2020, during our second semester for the academic year 2019 to 2020, um, our university has been closed. Okay, and we were forced to do our classes online okay both in synchronous and asynchronous modalities hence the term seamless blended digital learning now um this study basically started for us to be able to assess the way that we implemented the seamless blended digital learning and for us to furthermore improve or tailor fit the existing flexible learning policy that we have drafted for the university the objectives of this study actually includes the following. First one is to assess the perceived level of the faculty and the students' acceptance of the seamless blended digital learning or the SBDL in terms of the quality, user satisfaction, use, and perceived benefits. Second, to assess the level of seamless blended digital learning or SBDL implementation as perceived by the faculty and students in terms of first one, adherence to policy, Second one is online platforms or technology. Third is academic support. Fourth is monitoring and evaluation. And fifth, flexible learning modality. Third objective includes to determine if there is a significant difference in the respondents and effect of collective variables of SBDL implementation, variables to the quality, user satisfaction, use, and perceived benefits. And lastly, to measure what is and how much is the effect of the SBDL implementation to the level of customer's acceptance. For the materials and methods of this study, we have used a quantitative research design, a descriptive type of research to assess the um, impact or the effect of the seamless blended digital learning program to the University of the City of Montinlupa. For the population and sample, we have been fortunate enough to gather 100 respondents during the um, second semester of academic year 2019 to 2020 and the short term period of 2019 to 2020 for the um, faculty members. And we have gathered 147 respondents during the academic year 2020 to 2021 during the first semester. And for the students, we have gathered 2,039 respondents during the short-term period and the second semester period of academic year 2019 to 2020, and 4,267 respondents during the first semester of academic year 2020 to 2021. So as we can see, we have conducted um, the research in two different time periods for us to assess how well does the um, flexible learning policy have done okay, in making um, or in um, paving way for us to have a continuous modality of learning even during the pandemic? Now for the research instruments, our survey questionnaire actually is divided into two sections. Okay. The first one is the uh, for us to measure the level of SBDL implementation through adherence to policy, online platforms, technology, 
academic support, monitoring and evaluation, and flexible learning modality. And the second one is for us to measure the level of consumers' acceptance of the SBDL program in terms of its quality, user acceptance, use, and um, perceived benefits. For our data collection, we have actually utilized Google Form for us to um, digitally distribute and collect survey questionnaires from our respondents within the university for the two um, semestral period. For the data analysis, we have actually, uh, for the descriptive um, statistics, we have used percentage frequency distributions for us to basically um, summarize the data that we have gathered. We also have used paired sample t-test for us to measure for the significant difference between the two academic periods. Okay. We also have utilized analysis of variance, ANOVA, okay, and a multiple regression model in the analysis of the impact of the SBDL implementation to the customer's acceptance in the university. When it comes to the results and discussions, okay, based on the perceived level of acceptance of the SBDL program from our um, students and faculty members of the University of, City of, University of the City of Montinlupa, we have actually um, determined that the SBDL has been highly accepted okay, by our um, stakeholders. Okay. We have rated 4.35 okay, for the faculty members or from the faculty members during the um, first rating period, which is um, descriptively rated as highly accepted. Okay. And uh, we were also rated at 3.84. Okay, during the same period by our students, which is also um, descriptively rated as highly accepted. And during the second um, rating period, which is during the first semester of academic year 2020 to 2021, we have been rated 4.39 um, okay, uh, by our faculty members, which is descriptively rated as highly accepted and 3.88 during the um, second grading period um, by our students, which is also rated as highly accepted. Now, this is the um, rating of the level of implementation of the SBDL program in the university as rated by our faculty and students. So as we can see, to sum it all up, we are still um, rated as highly implemented. Okay. The program has been highly implemented in both of the rating periods uh, from the second semester and short-term period of academic year 2019 to 2020 and the first semester period of the academic year 2020 to 2021 by, by both of our students and faculty members. When it comes to the differences, Basically, when it comes to the responses from our faculty members, um, as you can see in the paired sample t-test result, there has been no significant difference between the responses of the faculty members in the two rating period. So basically, the level of um, implementation and acceptance are both the same okay, in these two grading periods. However, when it comes to the response of the students of our university, there has been um, recorded statistically significant differences between um, the rating periods, the two rating periods for both level of implementation and level of acceptance. Now, here is the multiple regression summary of the predictor variables with the quality and benefits of the SBDL uh, learning as perceived by the faculty members of Pamantasan and Lungsod and Muntinlupa during the second semester and short-term period of academic year 2019 to 2020. So you might be wondering why I have or why we have only included quality and benefits and we have not included um, the use and user acceptance um, in the measurement of this um, dependent variable. It is because based on the um, regression summary model, it is only the quality and benefits that is proven to have a significant relationship between um, the independent and the dependent variables. 
That's why we have only included this in our summary. Okay. And as we can see, um, when it comes to the, it is, it is very um, evident in this um, result that it is only the adherence to policy variable was found to be statistically um, significant okay, that has a negative implications okay, to the quality and benefit, uh, to the benefits rather of the um, seamless blended digital learning. So this happened um, in the implementation, during the implementation of the flexible learning policy in the transitory period um, after the short-term period of academic year 2019 to, 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 to 2020 before we transition to the first semester of academic year 2020 to 2021. So basically in this part... Can I interrupt? Okay, so... I, yes, ma'am. Yep. Can you wrap it up? Because, you know, it's out. Uh, the time is running out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. All right. So let us um, move forward. Now, when it comes to the results of the students, all of the predictor variables have found to be um, statistically significant when it comes to the results. And all of them are found to be positively um, or found to have um, significant positive impact to the um, dependent variables. Okay, now to, to move forward, here are the conclusions of the study. When it comes to the perceived level and differences, it is found that the university has a high level of implementation when it comes to the seamless blended digital learning policy, which is also highly accepted by both faculty members and students. There is found to have same level of implementation and acceptance of the SBDL program in two consecutive rating periods as perceived by the faculty members of the university. And when it comes to the students, they have rated differently Okay, during the first rating period and the um, second rating period. And it is found to have a lower um, rating during the second rating period from the first rating period upon the implementation of the flexible learning policy. Next is that um, when it comes to academic support, it is found to have a consistent significant effect on the level of acceptance of the SBDL program. The flexible learning modality also Academic support and adherence to policy was also found to have an impact to the SBDL's level of acceptance. But when it comes to adherence to policy, it is found to have a negative impact, which was brought by the implementation of the formulated flexible learning policy during the second rating period. For our recommendation, the opinion and concern of all the stakeholders, both faculty members and the students, should be taken into consideration in the implementation of the policy of the SBDL program. The policy in the implementation of the SBDL program should be revisited and um, will be subject, subjected for improvement. All stakeholders of the SBDL program must be represented in the reviewing process to ensure that the redeveloped policy will fit the needs of all of its stakeholders. Fourth, after the revision of the revised policy in the SBDL program, another research should be conducted to view the effectiveness of the revised policy to the concerned stakeholders. Fifth, the online platform or technology should uh, be used and the SBDL program should be highly utilized for further enhancements of the online classes. Sixth, the university administration should continually support and strengthen its commitment for the betterment of the SBDL program and extensive trainings and extensive trainings, by the way, should also be administered for the faculty members and students. Seventh, the monitoring and evaluation of the execution of the SBDL program should continually enhance to uplift the quality and the benefits of the program and its stakeholders. And lastly, the flexible learning modality should be continually conducted by the faculty for equal learning opportunity for all of these students, which, um, contains uh, the mix between synchronous and asynchronous learning modalities. That concludes our presentation of our research. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Um, Associate Professor, uh, what? Uh, sorry, Dr. I'm sorry, Dr. Denise.